are cast iron construction, they're metal, uh, and uh, it was very rare in the 19th century when they were made. They were made in 1830s. At that days, these gates were the biggest cast iron construction in Europe. Later, Eiffel Tower appeared, but before Eiffel Tower, these, uh, our Moskovsky gates were the biggest. And the gates were installed to commemorate the victories. It was the tra tradition in the previous years to install the gates to commemorate the victories of, in different wars. In the beginning of the 19th century, we had the war against Turkey. Also, there was the conflict with Persia and Poland, and Russia conquered in all these wars. And for these uh, victories, the gates were installed. Uh, well, uh, the gates were installed on the way of the troops. Uh, the troops came down this road, and on their way there were the gates, they went through the gates. It was a beautiful ceremony. Uh, and uh, we are now uh, almost at the outskirts. Uh, in the 19th century uh, there was uh, no city here, just the country, countryside. Here are only a few buildings. Mainly the buildings uh, were constructed here at the beginning of the 20th century or uh, in the first second part of the 20th century. 
that's why uh, you can see the architecture, which is not very old. Uh, yeah, so the first part uh, and uh, some buildings, the second part of the 20th century. But we are going with you uh, to the city center, and the closer to the center we go, the older are the buildings. Well, uh, here we have our mainly new buildings here, so, but sometimes you can see some old mansions because this road was the road to the summer palace. Uh, and along the road, uh, some noble people also had their summer palaces. Yes, so it was not the city, the countryside, and uh, the summer palaces of the noble people. Uh, I want to remind you uh, our foundation is the 27th of May, 1703. And so now we are 311 years old. Uh, the city is quite big now. Uh, the population of the city is 5 million people. And uh, the city is more than 700 square kilometers. Uh, if we count with the suburban cities, suburban parts, it is more Finland. than... So we are on the coast of the Gulf of Finland and uh, we have also the main river of the city, Neva River, which you will definitely see today. Uh, well, the climate uh, in our city uh, are, is, uh, well, quite mild. We don't have too strong, um, too strong colds in winter. Sometimes we do, but they don't last the whole winter long. Here it is usually, well, not more than a month of real cold, when it can be uh, uh, minus 20, uh, minus 25 Celsius. Uh, but uh, uh, the same thing in summer, we don't have very hot summers. Here, well, July now is the hottest month, and 25, sometimes 30. Uh, but usually uh, in the city, all the temperatures, you feel stronger because we have very high level of humidity. Here we are uh, on the uh, coast of the Gulf of Finland, we have many rivers, and we had also uh, many Sorry. Uh, this area near the uh, Neva River and uh, most swarms were filled yes yeah, so they were uh, used to build the buildings on it uh, but now uh, in general oh, as I told you we have mild temperature about uh, well in summer about 20 Celsius sometimes Seven. Minus minus five, yeah, the five below zero, or sometimes uh, minus three one. Uh, very often we have just zero here, yeah, and not the snow, but rains are uh, in winter. And uh, well, the same story with the spring and autumn. They are quite long and uh, not very warm, very rainy. Rains are very often in the city. Uh, after statistics. If we count days without clouds, and today you see, yeah, it is sunny, but there are clouds. So without clouds, we have only about 30 days a year. Mm. Yeah, three zero, 30 days. Um, because uh, generally we have very changeable weather. It can be sunny in the morning, but then rainy and cloudy in the evening. And that's why local citizens usually have their umbrellas with them. Uh, well autumn and spring and summer well even in winter sometimes uh, well yeah be, be ready there yeah, that uh, it can be ready are uh, well uh, for quite gloomy weather usually gloomy weather especially in autumn and spring um, the buildings in our city are mainly brightly painted it was the idea of Peter the first and from the very beginning they started to paint the buildings because with the gray uh, sky, the gray buildings, they looked too gloomy and too depressing and that's why to cheer up, uh, to make the city look brighter and nicer, the buildings started to be uh, painted. The most often color is yellow, the sun color. Here and uh, that's why the closer to the city center you come, the more uh, bright and beautiful buildings you see. Well, right now uh, we are passing 
when we are coming to the downtown, so we see more old buildings here. Uh, the corner uh, building at the right uh, is one of the metro stations yeah. on the white field here to your right. It is called Technology. Of course, we have the uh, University Technological University nearby. Uh, the building across the little square to your right. We have several universities in this area. Uh, the University for Engineers, uh, uh, Architects, and this technological one. We have also a military school, the building that is in scaffoldings to your left. Uh, well, um, all together in St. Petersburg, we count about 80 universities. Uh, 40 state. Yeah, originally there were 40 state universities at the days of the Soviets, but after the end of the Soviet power, many private universities uh, were opened. And uh, St. Petersburg is a big center for uh, the students. They come from uh, the suburbs and they come from the different cities. And